Hey, good evening. Um, you can see here there's an empty chair. <laughs> That's because Nicole and Noah are off on a bit of an adventure all the way to Espana. <laughs> so she's going to spend a few days with a, with a really good friend of hers in, um, yeah, near Alicante. So uh, yeah, it's just me. <laughs> but um, yeah, lots to update you on um, before I crack on, we crack on with today's episode. Uh, first off, uh, we launched Patreon yesterday and we have a grand total of zero members so far. So it's going well, <laughs> but it is early days. So fingers crossed, a few of you um, will want to become members in due course as we kind of reveal exclusive content for that. Um, we are on our website, chateaudevievine.com is going to be live with um, Arjit. So we're going to start renting this where I'm sitting now. Uh, will be rented out hopefully <laughs> from July onwards I think so um, we should be updating that in the next couple of days so the ability to actually you know go in and, and book a week or two should you wish <laughs> to come and stay at the chateau uh, will be available uh, in the next few days uh, starting from July and without further ado let's crack on with today's episode. You may recall that in the last episode having returned to the chateau with Noah we experience significant rainfall and flooding in the sheet. The irony is, having actually fixed pretty much all of the leaks, and we haven't actually had any leaks for the, for the last eight months, we had a huge cyclone pass through the village at the weekend, and we find ourselves in a not dissimilar situation to a year ago. More on that on Patreon. Kurt was amazing at fixing our, our roof with no fear, <laughs> definitely uh, not my cup of tea. You want those things? Yeah. Nice day for it. So how are you walking on the tops? <laughs> Mate, it's full of leaves. What? You cleared that out last time, then? Eh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we shouldn't have shed any leaves recently. <laughs> He's like, oh no, here we go again. The repairs done across different parts of the roof. We were back inside the jeet to fix the damage that had been caused to the kitchen units, or at least to the wall holding up. <laughs> we're trying to hold up the kitchen units. Seriously. Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I know. That was hence why we. I think we decided yesterday to to take it down, right? That's the first time I've seen it that close up. <laughs> With glasses on. Yeah. That's good as new. Yeah. <laughs> That's not soaking, that. Eh? Really? Yeah. That's not really surprised me. That one be over there. What's up? Over there, don't it? Sorry, I can't see what you're saying. That was just down there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but it's just come loose because of obviously all the stuff that's going on. From there, we just dipped into the whatever, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll have to molly, molly all that. Yeah. And then we'll glue it with the, with the. Oh, yeah, glue it as well. Yeah. We've got it by the end. Cool. He's ready for pre.
that was the ominous thing that happened over the last few days with the with the leaks. Yeah. The packers that we had put up there, which is the ones we're now putting back in. Oh, I learned. Yep. <laughs> exactly that. I was like, eh, that doesn't sound good. Oh, like chuck me that clue. Yep. With the Jeep fixed, we we're on to our next big project, and that was to create a new staircase from the first floor to the second floor, which we were really excited about. And once we'd finished laying the OSB floor on the first floor, which was above the Jeep, we set to work on an old piece of oak that was going to act as a new joist to widen the, the floor to accept the new staircase, where there had once only be room for a ladder. So what's this going to be called? What's this this part of the structure called in the in the floor? Uh, sure. Brace or no? Yeah. No. no sure. The brace is what holds it in place. Yeah. Uh, Supporting beam, I guess. Uh, right? Loading. Cool. Carrying the rest of the weight, then. Eh? Yeah. And how have we tested it? By jumping up and down, right? Jumping up and down on it. Probably not to sand on the nails. Yeah, that was good going. It's hell of a shape. Yeah. And so you're now, well, after breakfast, of course, but what are you doing? Degrading it, get this cutter on it, uh, grind it, lose all this stuff. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, or oh, should we treat it as well at the same time? Yeah, might as well. Can we use it? Do we need to wait to, after treating it or can we use no, it? Still? Really quick. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And we can treat it after when it's after when we've done the cuts before we... Yeah, treat. whichever. Yeah. Well, yeah, because we need to treat the rest of the beans anyway, don't we? So. Yeah, yeah. Solid. Oh, there's quite a few of them, aren't there? Yeah, they're cleaning them all. That. Oh, really? The knots? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because it's all like. Yeah, it's fine. It's extra fibrous and extra strong. <laughs> He's so, come up with an idea. No, no, no. <laughs> Kurt's come up with an idea. Let's hear that idea, Kurt. Yeah. So we've got this piece of wood over here that needs to go into the hole that we've got there. Yeah. Right. So we're going to have to get some sort of hole punch in there. Yeah. 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 That would be the newly installed window, which is pristine east. Uh, poke the ladder through the window. Put a duvet over the window. Just to protect him. Use duvet. Like it. Or something soft, yeah? yeah. You lie up there. Nice. Yeah. With a ladder on you, you'd be fine. Now the ladder should clear the window. Like okay, it. in which case the wood won't touch it. I've actually got smaller ladders. Oh, my God. Come on, my yeah. They're sturdy, yeah. They'll stay where we are. Okay. Let's give it a try. Hello. Um, might need your help. We need to move the trusses that are supporting the beam at the moment. Because we're going to need to put the beam down here before we then hoist it through the window here. Kurt side it. Um, we're going to put a ladder up to protect the window itself. So it won't ever rest on the ledge, it will rest on the ladder and clear it that way. But it makes more sense than trying to go 
and pivot it five meters worth of thing all the way through the building to get into the same room. Yeah, we'll, we'll attach a rope to it to pull it up and work it up. Uh, in one minute. Well, we're just going to be slowing down otherwise. All right, let's do it. Remember, then we'll walk it up. Phase one, Kurt, how are you feeling? <laughs> Just more, more matter of getting it up. There. Me? Wow. I'm not the pro. I'm better off lifting it, I'm better off the one carrying, not pulling. Right. How's it going, Kurt? Oh, watch out for the swallows. <laughs> as long as we can undo it after, it's all good. Thank you. 